Thank you, Sarah, for being with us here today. Thanks for having me. So April was designated as the month of the Great American Cleanup of South Carolina. Correct. What all is involved in that program and how long does it last? Well, it's actually part of Keep America Beautiful's um, national program. It's um, the Great American Cleanup. It's the nation's largest cleanup. Mm. And we help coordinate the activities for South Carolina. So we call it the Great American Cleanup of South Carolina. And Palmetto Pride is the state, um, we, ha we house the state affiliate for Keep America Beautiful, Keep South Carolina Beautiful. Mm -hmm. And we have 23 affiliates locally around the state that coordinate activities during, um, in their communities. And um, we work with all areas that don't have a Keep America Beautiful affiliate. Um, but we help people coordinate community cleanups and we help provide supplies such as safety vests and gloves and trash bags. And we just ask people to, to take responsibility for where they live and if they see an area that needs cleaning up, get out there and, and help us keep South Carolina beautiful and litter free. Are different cities kind of tweaked to tailor those communities a little bit more or is it generally the same throughout? It's, it's whatever people want to do. Some groups okay. want to go out and do a beautification project. Some okay. groups might adopt a park and, and plant some flowers. Some groups do cleanups. Um, some of our Keep America Beautiful affiliates actually coordinate um, big projects. Um, some do things every Saturday, one Saturday a month. So it really just depends on the area and what the needs are. Okay. Nikki Haley yes. declared no tolerance. Yes, that was wonderful. What are the penalties with that mm -hmm. and who enforces that? Uh, the state does have litter laws, and the fines range from about 467 I think, upwards to $1,000. And it can get heavier. The fines can get higher if it involves illegal dump sites and, and toxic uh, chemicals being spilled into the ground. Um, so we have officers at the state level from DNR and Highway Patrol um, writing state tickets and also county officers, uh, municipal officers. Some counties have uh, designated litter control officers, and some just have um, enforcement with their sheriff's department or their, their town police. I assume that that's long term, not necessarily just for this American it's, cleanup, correct? Correct. It is every day. Okay. Uh, we, we do help the uh, South Carolina Litter Control Association put on the Zero Tolerance for Litter campaign, and it's every April. And it's just a time for everybody to get together and really come together and focus on the state litter laws. And, and it's a dual purpose event where it's enforcing, but it's also educating people that uh, there are laws against littering and to help bring awareness so people think about what they're doing and, and, and take responsibility for their for their trash. That's good. You mentioned April. Mm -hmm. Is it only in April? Did it end or is it continuing on that particular campaign? How long does it last? That particular campaign is, is the month of April, but we, we want people to get in the habit of focusing on it year-round, uh, litter control, law enforcement, and citizens. And you mentioned education. Mm -hmm. How do you educate? Well, we have programs uh, that we take to schools. We have a, a puppet show that is free for um, K through fourth grade elementary schools um, called Litter Trash is Everyone, mm -hmm. and we, we coordinate that with uh, Columbia Metro, Columbia Marionette Theater. <laughs> Sorry, we have a magazine in Columbia. Um, and we also work um, with Miss South Carolina, and oh, okay. um, yeah, they go and do presentations in schools. Mm -hmm. um, we work with Green Steps, and we work with all of our Keep America Beautiful affiliates. Uh, DHEC has um, curriculum, and DNR does as well. So the schools are really, uh, really working with the students, and there's a lot of education going on from K all the way through 12. And our universities are, are really big into recycling. So th there's a couple of generations that have been getting this for, for years. It's really smart to start early. It is. It in is in elementary schools and the kids and, and further mm -hmm. progress. Absolutely. Now, as far as adults, do you educate them? We do, and we do that through special events. If we attend festivals, some of the local groups do um, do some festivals as well. We help. Uh, we've got a litter free brand, litter free events mm -hmm. brand that we can work with groups who want um, to have their special event be litter free. Um, and we also have our awareness campaign. Uh, we we have advertising and. Um, radio and magazines and television and online and um, we just it, we come here we do television interviews and and we promote it on our website so we're we're always working to educate adults and 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 our youth as well that's good many outlets many outlets yes as there's much lots as of can. ways to to bring awareness and mm -hmm. so that's what we do we work with recycling and you know that's good yeah so what other programs does Palmetto Pride do? We um, actually uh, have four program areas, mm -hmm. education, enforcement, awareness, and pickup. 
We have our Prideways program, which is an interstate sponsorship of highway of interstate cleanup, where businesses can actually sponsor sections of the interstate to be cleaned up. Volunteers mm -hmm. can't go on the interstate. We oh. work with uh, Department of Transportation, uh, helping to coordinate Adopt a Highway. Uh, we work with Keep America Beautiful. We also serve on um, the Recycling Coalition with um, that helped we helped start that with DHEC and some of the private mm -hmm. industries. We have our Litter Trash is Everyone Puppet Show. We've got other programs that we talked about with schools. We work with the Monofilament Recycling. We uh, work with our enforcement officers. We've got um, our grants program. We've got mm -hmm. five grants that um, can we coordinate for. Um, community groups, state agencies, we've got our tree grant, we have an enforcement grant, mm -hmm. our education grant, so we really just touch on every every audience we can. Oh, that's great. Yeah. Now, real quick, tell us about that mobile phone app I heard that you've got tailored towards littering. We do. We, um, we have a trash tracker app, and okay. you can download it from the app stores. Also, I think there's a link on our website. But it's, um, it's a mobile app where people can find our website. They can uh, okay. look where highways are adopted, or if they need to be adopted, they can post their cleanup activity. They can they can uh, bust a litter bug. They can also report a hot spot so that we know we know where the hot spots are to send out, to, you know, let the counties or the state know where there needs to be a cleanup. That's a great idea. It's tailored it towards, you know, the technological advances and it's a lot easier for people to report. It that is. Way. It That's is. Great. Yeah. We, we kind of thought it would be a good way to engage mm -hmm. the younger audiences, but our you know, our adults are, are logging on as well. Okay, so tell us the phone number in the website. The phone number, toll free, is 877-725-7733 or 877-PALPRIDE. Website is www.palmettopride.org and our litter busters number is 877-7LITTER. Sarah, thank you so much for being with us today. Thank you for having me.